Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh. You're gonna like this one. Have you ever had Dancing Plague? I When I came across this, it was on a video I watched today, and uh, they, it was, uh, what was it, 13 Things to Make Your Day Brighter? And uh, it, one of them was uh, the fact that in 15... Okay, I wrote this down because this is funny as hell. I, I couldn't believe it was real. I looked it up. Uh, 1518, July 1518, uh, a lady named Frau Trofea, uh, she started dancing in the street in Strasbourg. She continued dancing for like three or four days. Within a week, 34 people had joined her on the street and were dancing constantly. Okay, um, and eventually, within a month, there were over 400 people dancing. Right, this this is all up to a month, and they continued dancing, and eventually, the city actually went and built them a stage, and like hired musicians to play for them. The doctors didn't know what to do, so the, all they could prescribe was more dancing. So they danced continuously. Um, a whole bunch of people died from heart attack, stroke, heat exhaustion, and uh, I was just like, why? You know, and I know that there's a magnetic field, and I know that everybody's affected by this magnetic field, and that people are affected by each other, and it's called mass hysteria. I mean, this happens all the time. So I decided to look up some more mass hysterias, and I thought you guys might like to share this, because this is funny. Okay, the dancing plague was real. A whole bunch of people died. Okay. And on uh, January 30th, 1962, in uh, Kashasha, Tanzania, there was a laughter epidemic, okay? And this isn't just one, there's been a whole bunch of these. <clears throat> it's like hysteria. This is where the whole idea of hysteria comes from, but, uh, well, hysterectomy, I'm not, or, yeah, I'm not gonna go, go with that, anyway. Three girls uh, in Tanzania um, started laughing uncontrollably for a few days, and it eventually spread to 95 of 159 pupils at that school, 95. So over half the girls were laughing, and as it gets even better, um, it lasted for a few hours to six, up to 16 days, 16 days per girl. So the school had to close down on March 18th, a couple months later. Um, then it shut down, then it spread to Nishamba, 217 more people uh, were affected, and the school was eventually sued, even though there was no real cause. And uh, it lasted for six to 18 months, and it died off eventually, but 14 schools were shut down, and over a thousand people were affected. It's very interesting. You know, we, we think about the contagion of, you know, <laughs> think about, you know, laughter is contagious. Well, it really is. Uh, then there was a fainting epidemic, right? In April, April 1983, there were over 940, uh, I, don't, I don't know where this one was, uh, 943 hospitalizations, and they found it was all psychological. Um, the Salem witch trials were a big one. You know, that was uh, another mass hysteria. Uh, May 2006, there was this thing called strawberries with sugar virus. I don't know why they called it that, but it was in Portugal. Over 300 students claimed at 14 different schools that you have these rashes, breathing problems, and dizziness. Um, due to this unknown cause. Now, some of these could obviously be external sources, but these are the best ones I could pick out that were most likely hysteria. Um, in uh, 2012, in November, in Sri Lanka, there was a mass hysteria through 15 schools. Over 1,900 kids, five teachers, got this, these rashes and vomit and this vertigo that was all related to a, uh, a person thinking that they were sick. And you have this idea that we can manifest, you know, ourselves to be sick or well. But, uh, now a lot of these could easily be some sort of a engineered virus, people might think, or maybe a unknown, you know, sickness. But the laughter epidemic, you know, those ones are different. And some of them, I mean, this goes way through history, you know, the Salem witch trials were based, of course, they think maybe on the ergot fungus, but that's different. Um, but the dancing plague can't be explained. That one is funny, and it's not the only one, there's been a whole bunch, and uh, but that's the most notable one. So what is with that? 400 people dancing and like people dying and having stroke 
and shit. So they never knew what caused it. And uh, eventually it just faded away. So my theory, <laughs> and I could be totally wrong here. You know, I know that, you know, everything's based on light, vibration, frequency. So what's happened is there's like a, there's a jumbled frequency. I don't know if it's in the area or with the person. And that's the interesting part. Sometimes it's a certain location where these things happen. Sometimes, though, it's passed all around the place. So maybe there's like this residual energy that's passed around. Or maybe it is like a virus. But, uh, you know, viruses are all geometrical in nature. So I can imagine that... Uh, these mass hysterias probably have some geometry to them too, of course, but anyway, just thought that was funny. <laughs>